today's guest chef is a lady who is after our hearts. Sure is. Oh, we've been looking through her cookbook. Oh my gosh. Which is Melissa's Southern cookbook. Melissa Spurka, welcome to Good Day Live. We're so happy to have you with us today. Thank you, ladies. I'm delighted to be with you. Well, the holidays are around the corner. What are some of your holiday traditional food that you like to make? Oh, wow. Well, you know, starting with Thanksgiving, which kickstarts the holiday season, we always want to th think of our sweets menu, don't we? Mm -hmm. I mean, we're always planning. We know what we're going to have for the main event, but we know we want to end it well. So I love getting together with my family. We love baking together. And so I like to collaborate with them to see what tried and true family recipes we're going to include on the menu this year. And we really kickstart our holiday baking at Thanksgiving. So that's uh, sort of what we enjoy doing together. The holidays is about creating memories and having sweet times in the kitchen with friends and family. Now that looks to me like in front of you, you've got a good old fashioned pecan pie. So I'm dying to know <laughs> Absolutely. what makes your family recipe so incredible. Well, I tell you, what makes our recipe so incredible is the caro syrup. My grandmother used caro syrup for pecan pie, my mom used, used it for pecan pie, and now I use it for pecan pie. So for me, it's irreplaceable to have that in pecan, classic southern pecan pie. Um, you know, there's a lot of things you can do with pecan pie that can shake it up a little, but the classic, it's difficult to improve on. You know, you start with the basics and then you're good to go. Well, uh, you know, Hazel Marie's never, never had one. No. She admitted it to me today that it's not a pie she's ever tried. So I'm wondering if you could kind of walk us through a simple recipe uh, that maybe she could try. Absolutely, yes. Well, you'll be happy to know that this is really a one-dish wonder because you start with uh, caro syrup, mixing it with sugar, eggs, vanilla, and butter. Once that's mixed together, you're going to pour it on over some beautiful pecan halves. Stir until the pecan halves are completely coated with that beautiful filling, and then you're going to pour it into a deep dish pie shell. Now, that can be a frozen quality deep dish pie shell, or you can, if you have a tried and true family pie crust that you love to use, please do, but it must be a deep dish. Pour the filling into the deep dish pie shell and then place it into the oven to bake for about an hour or until it reaches a 200 degree Fahrenheit, Fahrenheit internal temperature. Once that happens, it's ready to go to the cooling rack, let it sit for a couple hours and cool down, then it's ready to slice. But let me tell you, I love to have it when it's still a little bit gooey and warm with a scoop of vanilla ice cream or fresh whipped cream. You cannot go wrong either way. Well, I'm sold. <laughs> How can you take this uh, generic, like this general pie and spice it up or shake it up? Can you do it? Absolutely you can. There are some really fun things you can do. One thing I like to do, especially around the holidays, we know there's going to be one, more than one dessert on the table, right? I mean, we expect it. So one thing I like to do is turn this classic pecan pie into pecan pie bars. That way you can cut it into different shapes, as big or um, as small as you like. Then everybody can have just a taste of everything on the dessert table. To the classic pecan pie, you can add butterscotch chips or chocolate chips for a little decadence. Once that chocolate melts in there, it really puts some magic into that filling. Um, and then you can also turn the classic pecan pie recipe into a toasted coconut pecan pie. Wow. Same process, just add some toasted coconut flakes to it and you're good to go. Now, if you want to add a little bit of kick to your holiday season, why not add a splash of bourbon? <laughs> bourbon pecan pie is fabulous and will get your party started. So, you know, you can't go wrong either way if you go with the classic or if you go with some fun twists. Well, You're going to have fun with this dessert. <laughs> You can't go wrong with anything that you nope. offer in this Southern Cookbook, which, by the way, next week we are going to give our viewers a chance to win this as part of our Friday freebie. So, Melissa, thanks for sending it to us. But for those that don't win it, for those that want that recipe, is there a website they can visit or somewhere they can go? Absolutely. You can get this classic pecan pie recipe and more at www.carosyrup.com.